All right, now for some perspective on the impact a nuclear reactor meltdown might bring. University of Hawaii professor Dr. Ken uh, Kipnis, and we just heard seconds ago from the Associated Press of a partial meltdown being likely at a second reactor. Obviously, a lot of concerns out there. What's on your mind? Well, the first thing that, that, that occurs to me, um, my field is ethics, is the huge responsibility associated with managing and overseeing uh, catastrophe proponed uh, technologies like nuclear reactors and like the uh, the BP um, oil derrick in the, in the Gulf, like the Bhopal uh, chemical plant uh, owned by Union Carbide. All of these technologies pose great risks and they require that those that operate them measure up to the very highest standards of responsibility. Now I can't say anything about uh, whether those standards were met in Japan, but that would be the first thing that I would want to look at. So I think the big question on people's minds here, a growing concern obviously, is what the potential threat might be here in Hawaii. Yeah. Well, here we can look back at things like Three Mile Island and Chernobyl. And um, what those events teach us is that in the event you have a release of radioactive elements um, erupting out of an out of control nuclear uh, facility, um, what happens is that that stuff will enter the atmosphere as particles and as gases. And depending on the weather, okay, they will drift away um, and uh, uh, they, may, they may float to the ground, they may be carried hundreds, maybe thousands of miles. And if Hawaii is affected, and there are a whole lot of reasons why that might not happen, but if it's affected, uh, we wouldn't see people rushing to the hospitals. Instead, over the next few years, 10, 20, we would see an increased incidence of uh, certain kinds of cancers and maybe other conditions as well, birth defects that would be that would be, could be traced okay, to this particular incident. You know, and I think that's what's so tough yeah. for everybody. Uh, the tsunami warning uh, situation, a great example too. That this is this is not a perfect science, despite all the research we have, despite all the technology we have. There are so many variables involved here. This is not something we can say, hey, this might happen tomorrow, this might happen yeah. next week. There are huge amounts of uncertainty here. A, we don't know exactly what's happening in Japan. Okay. B, we don't know what's going to happen. And C, even if the worst case scenario does occur, okay, we don't know how that's going to affect uh, people in Hawaii. It depends on the wind, it depends on the weather, it depends upon the scale of the disaster. You've heard already, though, what uh, some uh, people in Japan are taking, uh, the, the yeah. steps they're taking, understandably, yeah. to try and keep themselves safe. Right. A, radi um, I a radioactive iodine uh, will increase the likelihood of thyroid cancer, mm -hmm. but if you take ordinary iodine pills and you're exposed to radioactive iodine, the theory is that you'll be less likely to to, uh, to contract cancer over the years. Right, so something so for us to be aware of at this yeah. point in time, but, but not to panic. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Kipnis, for joining us tonight. We appreciate it.